In this presentation, I prove how my wife Asherah was taken out of Judah and the land of Canaan by Babylonian Jews introducing the male god of Lucifer attempting to replace Yahweh, calling the G underscore D of Moses Lucifer, renamed Yahweh in an attempt to appease the locals of the house of Judah, then forced the religion of Judaism upon the hordes of Idumean who replaced the Israelites after the ten tribes were captured and exiled to Europe, becoming the Western nations. The Asherah goddess consort of Yahweh was renamed in the Old Testament with the word groves found 24 verses. Reading these verses, it is clear the Babylonian priesthood was forcing the Queen of Heaven out of Judah and the minds of the people. Well, she is back. What is hell? You're in it. And for the most part, all human beings are lost in the belief system the beast has fed you via the false governments, religion, universities, and yet no matter what your opinion is, not one of you have the slightest idea what truth is. In fact, the delusion is so pervasive, even those who are the organized covert conspiracy have no idea of the reality that they too will also be sacrificed. None of your own ideas can shed light on why it is so. The demons wearing coats of skin which are all around you so-called friends and family are the worst, for they are also locked into a delusion that your Jesus or Messiah or none at all or death will free you from the entrapment. Limited minds allows you to see only the reality which has been created by them. Ironically, when you are told Christ is back and the world rejects him, it's him. Even though your false Bibles predict this will be so when he comes, after all, the Bibles, all 250 versions of it, are the word of God, right? I just have to say, not. Now we were in bed on March the 11th, 2017 at 11.55pm. We were awakened by a very loud continuous alarm from a smoke detector in the hall outside our bedroom door. It was on March the 11th, 2013, I began communicating with Pope Benedict the 16th. So the following morning, March the 12th, 2017, I calculated the stars directly overhead at that moment the alarm sounded. YBS 4428 rising at 1717 and setting at 655 for 818 minutes. In the Greek concordance, 4428 means to fold or furl a scroll, close, close the scroll. Hebrew 4428 from 4427, a king, royal. 818 is, in the Greek concordance, shamed, without honor, and despised. Now Donald Trump is 2.424 years younger than I. Inaugurated on January the 20th, 2017, he inherited a world of evil which good men and women have difficulty comprehending child sacrifice, Pizzagate, eating flesh, drinking blood, pedophilia, vaccinations, killing people, chemtrails, Federal Reserve money dominated by the Jews, corrupt media, again the Jews. My age when the stars revealed King, Royal and the number of its rise at 17.17pm is the number for Armageddon in Greek. 717 is Armageddon in the Greek concordance. My age in weeks is 38.17. The word means to strike like a scorpion. Again, 2424 is Jesus in the Greek concordance, the number listing for Jesus. So five months to the Jesus birth date, June the 17th, this time 2017, five months from the inauguration. Now Sean Spicer appeared at a press conference with the American 
flag lapel pin upside down. The message in this sign is America is in deep distress. The Trump team is now fully aware of the infiltration of the demons of Lucifer in 40 to 50 percent of the FBI, CIA, NSA, Army, police. Trump has given the order to the FBI to do what they have to do. Now, of course, Sean Spicer himself brushed it off as, uh, as uh, nothing that this was found upside down. However, as somebody pointed out, uh, nobody does that, not even like the person that dressed him before he took the stage. Certainly had to have known what was going on. Revelation 9.5, and to them it was given that they should not kill them, but they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. The Greek Dictionary, my age in weeks on the fourth anniversary of my communications with Pope Benedict, 38.17 in weeks, meaning to hit as if by a single blow and less violently than 5180, specifically to sting as a scorpion, smite or strike. Arresting these high-level individuals takes time. The guilty know they are about to be arrested and there is talk of these criminals will face the death penalty. The five months prophecy started on the 20th of January when Trump took office. The demons know I have been supporting Trump to run for president and know they are unable to forbid Christ. In the prophecies of Scorpio and Ephesus, the Lord is wrestling the serpent, the Zionist Jews, which has devoured the earth. The right foot is being stung by the sting of Scorpio. The left is crushing its body. And here is constellations within the heavens. The glory of the Lord is revealed in the heavens. The arrow of Sagittarius is aimed at the heart of Scorpio. Now, along to the genetics, Rhiannon, the daughter of Michelle, who is Mary Magdalene, she was born December the 20th, 1979. A monster in her own right, the Sagittarius, depicted by the half-man, half-horse, totally describes the person Rhiannon. But she is related by numbers to my daughter Nicole, 2.127 years or 777 days between them, and Eileen, who I married when I was 1162.6 weeks old, and my firstborn Tracy Lee is 11.62 years older than Rhiannon. While my second daughter, who was conceived while Eileen and I were separated, is 6.6 years younger than Tracy, which brings me to a miracle. I was living at Cronulla in a lovely fifth floor building overlooking the beach. I had reports from the schoolmaster who bravely sat in his office and started to cry as he told me what Charmaine was doing before, after and during school at lunchtime. The cave at the back of Janali High School where she would sexually entertain all comers and it made the school staff so distraught for they had never seen the abomination before that she I ended up consoling the headmaster and I said that I suspected that she had simply taken on the same personality and sexual habits of the mother who was a slut. So in desperation, I rented this apartment on Shelley Beach and this particular day, Pauline and I were walking out into the laneway and as I was walking, I felt that I had walked into a soft immovable pillar and I was frozen. Pauline, her momentum, as I stopped, it carried her on and she swung around in front of me as I could not move. I looked down and I saw what appeared to be contents of a book, a diary of a child giving full details of her activities on a daily basis. Pauline read it and was at the point of weeping and she said, I feel so sorry for the parent of this child. I was released being frozen and we walked towards the edge of the lane to the garbage can, which was full. I lifted the lid and put the torn pages, maybe 50 or so, on top of the rubbish, closing the lid. We continued on, bought groceries for lunch, returned to the apartment and Pauline at the time did not. She started to prepare lunch. I took it upon myself to do what I wouldn't normally do, but the circumstances of the miracle of the pillar stopped me, stopping me 
I went into the bedroom of my daughter Charmaine and on the bed was the diary with the pages torn out of it. I had memorised the shape of the torn pages, then went back down to the garbage can after I told Pauline it was Charmaine's diary. Lifting the lid, the pages were gone. It then struck me the misery of a father of a girl that had inherited her mother's nature and was not my daughter because of the lies of the mother saying she was may give you some idea of the continuous, miraculous manoeuvres of an angelic force that is so pervasive in torturing me that I often thought that the crucifixion was a piece of cake. Three hours, you are dead. However, this paled to insignificance when on the 21st of November that year, my son was born dead. Murdered by a locum doctor, that had been flown in from Tweed Heads, northern New South Wales, where my uncle Robert Golightly had fallen to the Jews' lure of money. Realising that they had to deal with his nephew, as they were convinced he was Christ. So hell has to be defined as a physical place where a spir spiritual realm is a mirror of it and totally subject to the demons that wear the skins of human beings. And so you see in my case that every relative had been gathered to don their satanic costume when born. And so only by recalling how I thought as a child and I realised who I was. The sixty odd years of abuse by the above mentioned would only serve to strengthen my resolve, for I, the Holy Ghost, via leapfrogging across as Jesus opened the tombs for those who came before Jesus as their comforter. But those forces that placed them in their individual sepulchres were replacing them with Christians devoured by the Jews. So this life in hell is a construct of Lucifer and its demons, innumerable billions of them. They have been assigned to destroy righteousness based on the example of Jesus. The entire world has been reincarnated for the last time to face judgment. And so walking the corridors alone, familiar faces were demons in disguise that awaited the opportunity to destroy me. But one by one, I overcame them. Nothing deterred me from my task to destroy Lucifer and all its demons. Looking at the earth, consider it as an embryo, a conception to mature, then duplicated across the universe, but first requires its cancer to be removed before becoming a fetus, then maturing to birth then adulthood. All evil manifest in Judaism of Babylon. It had the knowledge of astronomy and how to read it. The invented lineage of Adam introduced the concept of creating a starting point, yet in reality it is a parable. And why you will see in the Judaic Christian Bible an insistence it is the word of God when the Jews cannot bring themselves to say the word God, but use G underscore D. Moses was invented to give the future generations a prophet God spoke to. Jesus came down from heaven, a body containing God, the Holy Ghost, to release the saints of the past from hell, opening their graves, being the comforter at precisely the right moment, catching the myth writers off guard. The priesthood in Jerusalem were controlled by the Sanhedrin myth writers in Babylon. They knew precisely when Jesus would be born. They were experts in reading the stars, knowing heaven was laid out in prophecy, which we can now read with monitor modern astronomy programs. We can now trace the tribe's activities 
that led to the so-called promised land as the idea mimics the idea of going to heaven supplanted by the corruptions of the Moses myths running into the facts of the birth of Jesus. Then Babylonian priests of the Sanhedrin sent three priests to alert the psychopath King Herod to send assassins to kill the dreaded Son of God, the Father, creator of all good, diabolically opposed to them. The God, lowercase underscore D, <laughs> lowercase g and underscore d of Moses, the Babylonian Sanhedrin, had fallen to evil writing in Lucifer's barking orders to Moses in Exodus, Numbers, Deuteronomy and Leviticus, 1404 verses. In the Greek concordance, 1404 is dragon, seen encircling Polaris and YBS 0286, as our North Pole star. Reading Genesis 16:4, And he went in unto Hagar, and she conceived, and when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. So within the Hebrew concordance, 1404 is the number for mistress, feminine of 1376, lady, mistress, and then the Hebrew dictionary for the number 1376 from 1396, a master or lord. The wife of the Lord Yahweh is his mistress. Martha is numbered 3136 in the Greek concordance. 3136 is Martha, Aramaic origin meaning mistress. Martha, a Christian woman, Martha. Martha was the wife of Jesus. Lucifer was aware the host of heaven are the messengers revealed to the ancient astrologer in Babylon. It was Pythagoras who was captured by the Babylonian army while he was in Egypt studying the altar to the Lord, the Great Pyramid. Transported to Babylon, he remained there for 13 years, joining the priests studying the stars. The pyramid is based on Pi, derived from Pythagoras. By then Moses had been invented and Judaism dominated the Middle East. It was imperative to eliminate Asherah as women were regarded as the foreskin. As such, men were circumcised, ridding the penis of the female. Insane, but true. From our point of view today, it is a forensic detective story we can apply clear logic. Jesus arrived as predicted. The father Yahweh in heaven, Jupiter, aligned with the heavenly mother Venus, which the astronomer, astrologers could see closing in for years, drawing ever closer until they had no option but attempt the first assassination, get Herod to kill the baby. This sent shivers into the Sanhedrin in Babylon. Their myth was suddenly confronted with reality causing a desperate reaction, knowing truth had won. June 17th, 2 BC at 3.21 UTC time. This was 5.21 AM, Bethlehem. Today we can measure the distance to Jupiter. At the time, June 17th, 2 BC, Jupiter was 6.070 astronomical units and Venus just 0.6 adding the two 7.36 astronomical units. In the Greek concordance, 736 is Ephrath, another name for Bethlehem. The moon distance was at 80, rather the moon distance was at 63 Earth radii. The position of the moon on June 17th, 2 BC, 
to St Margaret's maternity in Dar Darlinghurst, Sydney, Australia was 7814, the number in the Hebrew concordance, meaning laughter, in merriment or defiance. Derision, laughter, to scorn, mocked, sport. Now measuring the two distances, on the rebirth of January 11, 1944, Venus was 1.084 astronomical units and Jupiter 4.520 AU, totaling 5604. In the Greek, concordance is a pang or throw, especially of childbirth, pain, sorrow, travail. So I just want to bring this home to you. We are now talking about the rebirth of the Lord Jesus Christ and it is all described here within the heavens. The distance of Venus at 1.084 astronomical units, the number 1084 from 1080 means begotten, born. That is born. Jupiter's distance 4520, the number means a keeping Sabbath or the blessed rest from toils looked for in the age to come by the true worshippers of God. Some of you have asked, how do we celebrate the Sabbath? Well, he is the Lord of the Sabbath. He has done it all. You need not be concerned about rushing off to churches or, or going anywhere. If anything, today, have a rest. Whatever day you choose, he is the Lord of the Sabbath. Take time to have with your families or watching Yah's videos. It's all good. The Babylonian astrologers used old men when their vision had become long vision. They knew the Messiah was to be born, God in the flesh, Emmanuel, meaning God with us. They had to stop the baby at all costs, as his coming would destroy the Moses myth and Judaism would be destroyed. Judaism had a problem dealing with the prophets like Moses, rather like Isaiah, they could change some of his prophecy but faced the problem of copies. They also had a problem with Daniel and today scholars, being the Jews, say it was written 165 years before Jesus, attempting to defuse it as invented and not factual. The three wise men were assassins, went to King Herod, a psychopath, knowing he would send assassins. But we have God in the flesh here to straighten it all out and the Zionist Jews are in a lot of trouble. Modern astronomy programs are available. Home Planet is free and can be downloaded online. Carl Sagan's Easy Cosmos, harder to find, but will be duplicated in the future to prove me. Another must is Magellan GPS software which is accurate to within a few metres or less. Google Earth is part of Zionism domination and is to be avoided in measuring long distances above 50 kilometres. The next slide reveals the precise location of the Moon on June 17, 2 BC at UTC 321 being 521 Bethlehem. And then January the 10th 1622 UTC being the 11th at 2.22 a.m. Sydney, Australia. That's in 1944, of course. Going back to June 17th, 2 BC, 5.21 Bethlehem time, 5.21 is Amma, mother. So here we have Jesus' birth over Rio. The location of the moon you can see there over South America when measuring to the Jesus statue in Rio 
1694 kilometers that takes us right back to Matthew 123 and its Greek geometry a value of 8880 now it's a prophecy of Gabriel to lo locate the moon over Australia at my rebirth moment between both moon positions is 10,436.4 nautical miles in the Greek concordance Gabriel is the number 1043 here's the Jesus statue overlooking Rio June 17th 2 BC the moon location over South America when measuring two the Jesus statue 1694.6 kilometers 1694 in the Greek concordance is the word Emmanuel meaning God with us takes us right back to Matthew 123 with a Greek geometry of 8880 and is the age in days that Yah was when his first daughter Tracy Lee was born May the 4th 1968 in Canada Port Alberni, Canada, when the sunrise, the sunset was 888 minutes. Now here we have both dates. This is June 17th, 2 BC, and January 11th, 1944. On both dates, the sunrise, the sunset, 855 minutes, with the moonrise 33 minutes after sunset, totaling 888 minutes between sunrise and moonrise. 888 in Greek Gematria is Jesus. Now Lucifer, the Jews in Babylon, must stop. Rome was their next target. Peter was murdered, replaced by Paul, the false apostle. He was a devil. The final battle began by establishing the Vatican. This was February 11th, 1929. Then John the 23rd, the anti-Pope, anti-Christ elected in the conclave of 1959, introduced Lucifer. He was a Freemason. So he introduced Freemasonry into the Vatican. Now here we see the distance between June 17th to BC and January 11th, 1944, the sun to moon distance is 555 nautical miles. Now in the King James 1611, the word Christ is found 555 times within 522 verses. There is that mother measure again, 522, containing Christ 555 times. Pope Benedict himself announced his retirement exactly 84 years to the date on Mar rather February the 11th 2013 and it was 5.55 p.m. when lightning struck St. Peter's Basilica clock twice it was announcing to the world the Christ was about to be revealed and certainly that's what Pope Benedict did when he um, on March the 12th announced to the world he had finally met the Christ through the email and uploaded the Facebook photo of the Shradi Yah as a place of honour now the sun distance to the earth on January 11th, 1944, 1471 1477, 1471 meaning rate with child. Then June 17th, <coughs> 2 BC, the distance was 1521 428899. 1521 is the length of the passage into the Queen's chamber, meaning lead into the river of paradise. 1471 is the distance from my home as a child to my first wife Eileen and then back to 
third wife, Michelle, and back again. The triangular distance is 1471 kilometers. And here it is here. The latitude of Eileen, 33.23 degrees north, 33.23 is Messiah in the Greek concordance. Then the perimeter of the home on Nell Street with Michelle, 888 meters, Jesus in Greek gematria. And then the birth area at 105 Rothschild Avenue in Sydney is 22,000 square metres. Eileen's square meterage at her home location, 31101. And of course, that is the Julian day that Yah was reborn on, 2431101. It is also the number of verses in the King James 1611 Bible. Okay, there's the three sides totaling 1471. The area, 37800 square kilometres. 3780 in the Hebrew concordance is to be covered with flesh. To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child, is 1471, found in Luke 2, 5, which is what I just quoted. 1471 from 1422 and the base of 2949 is swelling inside that is pregnant great with a child 378 in the Greek concordance is basically it means God will prove by coincidence history is written by those which dominate ancient records but the church in Rome already fallen to the Jews after the final invasion by the Jesuit order. It, the Jesuit order, was the product of the 1492 eviction of Jews from Spain by the Catholic king and queen for child sacrifice. In all, 109 nations have expelled the Jews for the same reasons. The Prince of Constantinople decreed all Jews must raise their sons to infiltrate all Christian life in order to kill us all and today everything has been devoured. Chemtrails, vaccinations, soy in all food, fluoride in water and toothpaste, GMO food, medications, pharmacia, pharmaceuticals, wars, TV, Hollywood, pornography, evolution in schools, and Jesus was a myth. Now the King James 1611 and the James Strong's Concordance is a trap. Edward de Vere influenced Queen Elizabeth I to pray for forgiveness for beheading Mary Queen of Scots, the mother of James VI, King of Scotland. So Elizabeth I did and nominated James to occupy her throne. He became James I, King of England, Scotland, France, Wales, and Ireland, and then the Americas. De Vere was the playwright William Shakespeare. He was the editor of the Bible presented to the king for authorization by the head of the translation team of 47 scholars. That was Francis Bacon. So James told Francis Bacon that he wanted to read it first. This allowed De Vere time to alter the handwritten manuscript and it is now evident he changed it all to read in his manner of speech, known as Shakespearean. Wherefore art thou? Isaiah 63 verse 2 Wherefore art thou read in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? This is straight out of Romeo and Juliet. Romeo, wherefore art thou? Distinctly the non-number of Shakespeare. The deception is found in the name change of the mother, Asherah, she the wife of Yahweh, the queen of heaven. In the Canaanite religion, Asherah was regarded too as the queen of fertility. Reading Jeremiah 44:17, But we certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven 
and pour out drink offerings unto her, as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes, in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then we had plenty of victuals, and were well and saw no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. The name Asherah is not found in the Old Testament but is as the name Asherites numbered 843 from Judges 132 quoting but the Asherites dwelt among the Canaanites the inhabitants of the land for they did not drive them out the altars built to worship Yahweh were surrounded by white poles made from the white ash tree the Babylonian invasion of Israel in their so-called promised land had to destroy the altars and the Asherah poles surrounding them. The poles of Asherah were changed to the word groves and is found in 24 verses. In most of the verses, the God of Moses is barking orders to destroy the groves and altars. Reading Exodus 34:13, But ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. 8.42 is the number for Asherah from 8.33 meaning happy Asherah or Astarte a Phoenician goddess also an image of the same grove compare 6.253 Ashtoreth the Phoenician goddess of love and increase now the verse number Exodus 34.13 is a condemnation because 34.13 is Michael of Hebrew origin 4317 but in the Greek concordance 3413 is Michael and Arche and yes Yara's reminding me 3413 3, 4 and 13 there's three unusual chromosomes found within his blood by the Garvin Institute of Sydney a leading DNA Specialist Institute. So there listed are the 24 verses containing the word groves in the Old Testament. Now most of these verses are demands by the Lucifer God of Moses. Deuteronomy 7.5 But thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves and burn their graven images with fire. 12.3 And ye shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire and ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy the names of them out of that place. Then Judges 3.7 And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and forget the Lord their God and served Balaam and the groves. Therefore the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel and he so, and then it goes on and on, for the Lord shall smite Israel as a reed is shaken in the water. He shall root up Israel out of this good land which he gave to their fathers and shall scatter them beyond the river because they have made their groves provoking the Lord to anger. It goes on and on. You can read those. For they also built them high places and images and groves on every high hill and under every now the next two verses mention Carmel later known as Nazareth the centre of it were the gardens of the healers the Essenes so the mother Asherah and Yahweh the principles of the land lusted after by the Babylonians inventing Judaism so just remember this this land was lusted after by the Babylonians inventing Judaism. Reading 1 Kings 18, 19. Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel and the prophets of Baal 
450 and the prophets of the groves 400 which eat at Jezebel's table. Continuing, so Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. King, 2 Kings 2 10 And they set them up images and groves in every high hill and up under every green tree. So it goes on and on and on. Lucifer, this is the God of Moses, Lucifer barks orders to destroy love represented by Asherah's love for Yahweh. Just a note, Baal is a name, another Hebrew name for hope. So 2 Kings 23:14, And he broke in pieces the images and cut down the groves and filled their places with the bones of men. Remember, this is all about the orders of the God of Moses, who is Lucifer. Second Chronicles 17, 6, And his heart was lifted up in the ways of the Lord. Moreover, he took away the high places and groves out of Judah. So this struggle continued, destroying Asherah and Yahweh, only to have the people rebuild them. Second Chronicles 24, 18, And they left the house of the Lord God of their fathers and served groves and idols. And wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem for this their trespass. The altars and groves utterly destroyed throughout the land only to have the people reject the God of Moses and rebuild the altars of Yahweh and Asherah. Then Manasseh the son of Hezekiah, 2 Chronicles 33.3 3, For he built again the high places which Hezekiah, his father, had broken down. And he reared up altars for Baalim, Yahweh, and made groves, Asherah, and worshipped all the host of heaven and served them. Now the host of heaven is all about the prophecies written in the stars, which the Babylonians dreaded coming to pass. Yahweh was coming via the Virgin Mary, who represented Asherah. So it goes on, written among the sayings of the seers. So Manasseh slept with his fathers and they buried him in his own house and Amon his son reigned in his stead. Amon was two and twenty years old when he began to reign and reigned two years in Jerusalem. But he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lucifer Lord, as did Manasseh his father. For Amon sacrificed unto all the carved images which Manasseh his father had made and served them, and humbled not himself before the Lucifer Lord, as Manasseh his father had humbled himself. But Amon trespassed more and more against the Lucifer. The last mention is Micah. But he was born before all of the above. But in arranging the Old Testament, it should have been first. Then chronologically, the last would have been the rebuilding of the groves. Reading Micah 5.14 And I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee, so will I destroy thy cities. The timing of history is way off, for Israel was captured by Assyria in 722 BC, not mentioned by Micah. Rather, he is on about the grove. We see then that history is written by the victor. Judaism then replaced Israel, that had departed already to Europe, with Idumeans of Esau, renamed Edom, therefore Edomites or Idumeans, moved into the southern part of the kingdom of Judah. These became the people practicing Babylonian Judaism, for by then the Israel nation under Solomon, captured by Assyria in 720 BC, no longer existed, and Israel was removed to Europe. Babylon devoured Judah in 586 BC, Nebuchadnezzar killed Zedekiah and his sons. His daughters taken to Tyre, Ireland, 
583 BC, joining Judah that had been split, arriving in Ireland 1400 BC. So hundreds of years before, 800 years before, Judah had already split. They were already in Ireland when the daughters of Zedekiah were taken by Jeremiah the prophet to Tara Island, where they married into the Irish line of the kings of Judah. Reading Genesis 38, 28, and it came to pass when she travailed that the one put out his hand and the midwife took and bound his hand a scarlet thread saying this came out first and it came to pass as he drew back his hand that behold his brother came out and she said how hast thou, how hast thou broken forth this breach be upon thee therefore his name was called Phares and afterward came out his brother that had the scarlet thread upon his hand and his name was called Zara. Zara was taken to Ireland with the tribe of Dan arriving in Ireland in 1456 BC. The sons of Judah were the firstborn officially with the scarlet thread and Pharaohs remained in Canaan. This became Judah in Jerusalem, becoming Israel after the ten tribes were scattered to Europe after 722 BC. Now it was the historian Strabo writing around the time of Jesus held that the Idumeans whom he identified as of Nabataean origin constituted the majority of the population of Western Judea where they commingled with the Judeans and adopted their customs. These became the followers of myself as Jesus. Therefore only by reviving the truth eliminated by Lucifer's demons writing history and they illuminating Asherah, can paradise come to the earth. The next revelation is from the United Kingdom and our new follower, Tiffany. It's her brilliant work. She writes about Asherah, the divine feminine. March is Women's History Month. So, celebrate, so to celebrate the Divine Feminine, I have been taking a look-see at a goddess long forgotten about, named Asherah. Now right here, I'll finish, this can be part one, and we'll come back continuing to read Tiffany's brilliant work in part two.